With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is for different equals solutions of 0.1 F urea, 0.1 molar NaCl, 0.1 molar sodium sulfate and 0.1 molar sodium phosphate solution at 27 degrees Celsius. Consider the correct statement basically. So we need to identify the orders of osmotic pressure, vapor pressure, boiling point and freezing point basically. Okay. So if we consider the osmotic pressure, osmotic pressure, then basically osmotic pressure is pi is equal to ICRT. Okay. That means uh, at the fixed concentration and temperature, our osmotic pressure is proportional to vent of factor I. Okay. So we can simply say that more is the vent of factor more will be the osmotic pressure. If we consider the vapor pressure, so vapor pressure basically is P is equal to P naught 1 minus I times X solute. Okay. This expression has been derived from the concept of relative loading of vapor pressure basically from this equation RLVP which is equals to P naught minus P upon P naught it is equal to I times X solute. Okay from this we can uh, derive this expression. So from this expression we can simply say that pressure is proportional to 1 upon vent of factor. Okay, more is the vent of factor, less will be the vapor pressure. Okay, simply. Similarly, if we consider the uh, boiling point, boiling point, then we know the expression for elevation of boiling point delta T B, which is equals to I times K B into molality okay and for dilute solution molality corresponds to molarity okay so our delta tm tb basically is proportional to i and our boiling point is basically tb naught for pure solvent plus delta tb okay and delta tb is proportional to i so we can say that tb is proportional to i more is the vent of factor more will the boiling point and similarly if we consider the freezing point, okay, freezing point. So, in the case of freezing point, we define the term dep uh, depression in the freezing point or depression in the freezing point, which is equal to I times Kf times M, okay. So, our delta Tf is basically proportional to I and our Tf, which is the melting point of the uh, solution it is equal to Tf naught minus delta Tf. Okay. So we can simply say that our Tf must be inversely proportional to I. So these are some of the correlations of the various properties with the vent of factor. Okay. So if we consider urea then here the vent of factor will be simply equals to 1 for NaCl which is dissociating into Na plus plus Cl minus its vent of factor will be I equals to 2 for Na2SO4 which is simply dissociating into 2Na plus and SO4 minus 2 its vent of factor will be simply equals to 3 and for sodium phosphate which is simply dissociating into 3Na plus and phosphate ion its vent of factor will be simply equals to 4. Okay. So, if we consider the order of the osmotic pressure, then osmotic pressure order will be like this. Na3PO4 is having the highest osmo osmotic pressure following Na2SO4, following NaCl and following urea. So, A option is false. 
B option is the order of vapor pressure. So the vapor pressure order must be inverse of the order of the band uh, uh, of factor. So it will be urea must be having the maximum vapor pressure following the sodium phosphate, which is having the least vapor pressure. So it is also false. If we consider the order of boiling uh, boiling point, then the order of boiling point must be directly proportional to the order of the band of factor. So it is also false. If we consider order of freezing point, so the order of freezing point must be inverse of the order of the vent of factor. So it is correct. So the correct answer for this question will be D. I hope that I made myself clear. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.